And we having fun so far. Yeah. This light is so bright, I can't see anybody out there. Let me lean. Oh, good. Let me lean in here, Ben. Oh, a bunch of people decided not to sit in the front row. Well, you know what happens? If nobody sits in the front row, then the second row is the front row. So it's nice to see you, ladies. I'm going to get back into the light here. All right, now I want to point out, ladies and gentlemen, I do have this little card with some notes on it. You're probably thinking, what's up with that? Well, I can tell you the truth is uh, I really don't have the greatest memory. It's probably due to all the drugs that I've done no. today. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying that I like cocaine, ladies and gentlemen. I'm saying that I like nosebleeds and I hate sleep. <laughs> is the thing. So, uh, it's December. Right? It is December. Okay, yes. So it's December, you know what that means. Christmas. Uh, two more months to roll up the rim. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes, always a crowd pleaser. Roll up the rim. It's either a highly anticipated annual promotion from Tim Hortons, or it's what you do if the condom's too big. <laughs> so I hear. I'm more of a roll down the rim guy myself. That's right. So let me ask you, ladies and gentlemen, I can see there's a mixed bunch of ages here. Does anybody here remember the show The Beachcombers? <laughs> Show, sir? You remember how good it was? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get ahead of me, but yes. <laughs> Let me uh, just refresh your memory a little bit. Uh, it was not a very good show. Now, for all the young people here tonight, there you go. Again, don't get ahead of me. <laughs> for all the young people that aren't familiar with the Beachcombers, let me explain. This was a TV show about this Greek guy called Nick, and he would go around in his boat called the Persephone with his Aboriginal slave, Jesse, and they would, they would look for stray logs, which they would collect for money. Now, if that's not dramatic enough, there was a bad guy on the show, and yes, his name was... Relic! That's right. This was a crabby old bastard in a watchman's cap. And he would go around in his boat that didn't have a name. But it was this black jet boat that looked like a piece of shit, but it was super fast. And we all thought this thing was awesome. Now, if you're a little younger than me, you got to grow up with Knight Rider. Remember Knight Rider? That's right. So if you like Knight Rider, you got to enjoy Kit, the talking supercomputer car. And we got Relic's fucking boat. But this was a hit show. This was a giant show in this country. And the reason why, like this gentleman said, we only had, well, where I grew up, we only had three channels. So Sunday night at 7 o'clock, you didn't have a lot of choices. You could either watch The Beachcombers, you could watch some boring news bullshit, or you could watch The Beachcombers in French. That's right. Le Peigneur de la Plage. It wasn't any better in French. Anyway, you can go on YouTube tonight and you can check it out. There are a couple of Beachcombers episodes that are on YouTube. And just so that you realize this was not that great a show, one of these episodes, uh, everybody in town has had enough of Relic. And so what they do is they decide to play a trick on him. They pretend like he doesn't exist. So they act like they can't see him. And when he talks, they act like they can't hear him. And by the end, Relic thinks he's a ghost. This was top-notch Canadian TV. I should have stopped after Kit. But that's it for my Beachcombers bit. You can probably gather the, the fact that I remember the Beachcombers does mean, of, of course, I am getting old. Uh, we are all getting older at the moment, in fact, but uh, yes, you can probably see I got a lot of white in my beard here. But when I shave, the white hairs on my head don't really show, but if I took my pants off, you'd think my balls saw a ghost. <laughs> a cotton ball down there. Oh, you know who else is old? Betty Boop. Y'all know Betty Boop, yeah? This is a cartoon sex symbol. She's almost 80 years old. Talk about boop boop a droop. Now her privates are the flapper. I usually do a very rude song right now, but I'm gonna spare you that one. Do it! Do it! Loose mouth, loose mouth. Oh my God, I got a loose mouth. What do I do? Who do I sue? I don't know. I got a loose vagina. Thank you for not throwing anything at me. These ladies want to go back to the third row now. It's too late. 
anyway, one of the things I decided, uh, I was feeling old, so what I did is I went and I joined the Lions Club. Is that, are you familiar with the Lions Club? That's a great organization. They got a wide age range there too, everything from 75 to 110. <laughs> That's right. It's the last place I can go to where they call me young fella. So that makes me feel nice and young. But then what happens, every month they send you this magazine in the mail, the Lions magazine. It's got lots of great articles, but in between the articles are these ads for orthopedic shoes and corrective lenses and the bathtub with a little door you can walk in and sit down. So, so much for feeling younger. Now, uh, another thing that might surprise you, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't tell, I'm kind of a nerd. Oh, you can tell? Uh, oh, no, okay. Well, you know, it was actually much worse when I was younger. Uh, in fact, let me demonstrate. This is my impression of myself on the first day of grade five. Oh, hello, my fellow students. I hope you had a delightful summer. I certainly did. I discovered the most wonderful book at the library. Shall I tell you about it? Why are you punching me? <laughs> That's right. But you know, I grew out of it. But back then it was rough, much like an oversized butt plug. I just wanted to fit in. <laughs> much like a small man's member, I just wanted to be long. Again, not that I would know anything about that. But uh, believe it or not, I am a married man. But she's not here tonight, ladies, just, just so you know. Anyway, uh, we've been married 16 years. Hold your applause. Hold your applause. Uh, after all this time, we thought, you know, you've got to keep things fresh. So what we decided we'd do is uh, this last year we signed up for a pottery class together. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking that movie Ghost, right? Oh, my love. Yeah, yeah, nothing like that. What we did do is we decided we'd each make a funeral urn for the other, and we'll see who wins. So far, so good. Although it was a little touch and go there for a while. Uh, I went to the doctors, I found out I have a tumor on one of my testicles. Yeah, it's in the shape of a bingo ball. It's okay though, it's B9. I appreciate the applause break, but I don't have all night. Gotta keep the show moving. You know, much like a prostitute who won't do anal, I don't want to get behind in my work. Did I write that? No, I wrote that. So does anybody here have tattoos? Yes, somebody in the back? Uh, I have some tattoos, you can't tell, but someone once told me uh, you could have a large member tattooed onto your regular size member and make it look bigger. And I thought, A, that's not gonna work, and B, that would really hurt. So I had a much better idea. What I did is I had two tiny legs tattooed right <laughs> a segue. I did a show a couple of weeks ago and after the show I was talking to this nice young lady. Uh, she was lovely and frankly she was pretty busty. Now I was trying to be a gentleman but eventually my curiosity got the best of me. I said look I don't mean to be rude but I have to ask just how big are your breasts? And she said D's. I said yeah does how big are they? <laughs> All right. I got one more for you. Hopefully you like this one. Do we have any dentists here tonight? No? Well, I was at the dentist recently and I noticed something. It occurred to me that the, the language that dentists use professionally is very similar to the language they use intimately. That's right. I want you to lay back, relax, now open wide, wider. Can you feel this? Now, you might feel a small prick. Okay. Now, is this good for you? Oh, I shouldn't get you to talk while I'm in your mouth. Now, I want you to bite down. Very good. Now, remember, always up and down. Never side to side. Okay, now, you might see a little smoke when I start drilling. That's perfectly normal. And we're done here. You can go ahead and spit. Okay, my wife, BJ!